Hi guys. The other night I made this balloon powered boat for Bobcat Gaming. And he's come back and requested a rubber band powered airboat. So I'll see if I can modify this. I'll see if I can make another propeller from one of these uh, lollipop sticks or whatever they are. Put a bit of a uh, something at the middle here to strengthen it a bit. Stick the propeller on the back high enough up so it doesn't actually go in the water and attach a rubber band to it. I'll make the propeller the same way that I did last time, more or less. I'll mark it up first, find the centre, drill a little hole in that, slightly different from last time. This time I'm going to glue a piece of wire straight in the middle. Paper clip will do. So I will glue that in place in a minute. But I'll go downstairs and twist the propeller in the steam of the kettle. I'll boil the kettle. That's going to be a bit noisy. This is where the steam comes out, so I'll just hold this across it, keeping my fingers out of the way of the steam so that I don't burn my fingers. That steam is hot. I think I might just give that a little bit more. Be very careful doing this because that steam will take your skin off. Hopefully you can see the twist now. So we'll go back upstairs and glue the wire through the middle. We need some beads. colour. I'm just wondering if hot glue will be good enough to hold that in place. Last time I used two-pack epoxy. Right, that's cool to touch. I'll leave it to harden up a little bit. And we'll look at modifying the boat, because that's got no strength there for a rubber band to go across. So I'll put something up the middle here to stiffen it. Got some leftover polystyrene. It's got to be at least high enough to keep the propeller out of the water. Right, we're going to need a hook on the front to hook the rubber band onto, so that bit of paper clip should do the job.
probably don't need these weights on the front anymore. But I'll leave them there for now anyway. Alright, we need a bit of tubing on the top there. It's got to go through it. Put the beads on. Plastic tube. It's going to sit up there. Make sure it sticks out enough. bend up the hook at this end as well. So if you want to come down a bit. And round. That should be enough. Put an extra little bend back the other way. Right, if that's going to sit there, is that going to be clear? Yeah, that looks okay. So, a nice bit of hot glue on there. that cool down then I'll put some more over the top of it Give it a little bit of extra strength. Didn't put the top back on my pen. Don't want that to dry up. Right, well that's cooling. We need some rubber bands. I don't think this needs to be terribly powerful. See how it goes with just two rubber bands. Right, we want it to spin that way, so we'll turn it that way. Right, so I'll point it over, see if it'll catch the edge and go all the way round. I doubt it, but we'll try it. No, it didn't. In fact, the propeller hit the side of the bath. So, But there we go, a rubber band powered, propeller driven airboat.